hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i will be doing a wig review i'm doing this exact same wig for the second time because i ripped the last one a couple days ago i'll insert the clip here I gotta return this wig y'all but yeah I ripped that wig and I complained and told Amazon it had a hole in it when I got it and it sent me another one but uh, the wig was I really don't I honestly don't know how that hole got in here I didn't hurt like the first hole I don't know how it got there but I did make the hole worse trying to put it on so yeah let's just go ahead and get right on into this install okay so I am back um i went ahead and bleached the knots and re put the stuff on the lace so that it can be my skin tone as well as i didn't get all the bleach out but i cut out that elastic band because i ain't gonna use it i'm really not and i did bleach it a little bit too much you see it's like a little pink yeah i didn't pull the bleach uh down enough i mean i put the bleach on too loose and it ran okay this wig It's still little, but it definitely fits a bit better than the last wig. Because the last wig, I did have my hair braided down. But it still was too small for my head. It's going to be okay. I ain't, I, like, I done been through so much with this wig. Yeah. So, what we're going to use to secure got to be. I really, I do have some wig glue. I need to put this up. I'll be going to put this on my head. I do have wig glue, but I really don't like using it. I only use that if I do a ball cap and trust. I'm not doing a ball cap at that. So this right here, little spatula, edge brush, it came with that little lace stuff that I bought. It's called, I'll put that in the description as well. But y'all know, I don't have to put got to be glue in the description. I feel like y'all should know got to be glue. And honestly, got to be glue worked good. I got baptized with my wig glued down with that got to be glue. And it didn't come off. Now, if the pastor would have kept me in the water a little longer, I don't know what would have happened. But, you know, the little dip and back up, I was cool. Sat in church with a soaking wet wig. Never again. I don't wait for it to get tacky. What I do is I just spray some freeze spray on there. Not too much where it gets runny, but just enough. Then I just pull it. Go ahead and pull the wig on down to wherever I want it to sit. Okay, so, oh, and this wig came with this cheetah print. So I got two of them. I got the one that came with the old one, and I got the one that came with the new one, because I obviously not returning it. I wish I had somebody to come hold it, like, here for me. And now you can fold this up. Not too much on the ear tabs though, but here so you can see. And we're gonna let that sit on for a little minute. All right, y'all, so it's an hour and a half later. I did my lashes, I think they are right. Um, but yeah, I kept this bag on for like an hour and a half. So my ears, they sing and I can't much lie to you. Take this little clip out. I, I didn't even look up how to style my hair. I started watching this during Law and Order. And then I did my lashes. So, yeah. see a lace but what I'm gonna do is melt it with this got to be so 
So we're going to melt. This lays for about mm, 12 minutes. That's how much I got left on this uh, episode. And what time is it? It'll be 11 o'clock at that point. But then I will come back in. Okay, y'all. So it's been a little bit. It ain't quite 11, so. I guess it melted pretty decent. I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on there still. take this little thing out I don't know if I just said this or not but I'm thinking about styling it tomorrow I don't know if I said it in my head or out loud because I gotta sleep on this but I gotta work tomorrow so it'll get done so I'm gonna just come back to y'all whenever I style it tomorrow but I think it's a good install because it is it's giving from this angle, it ain't giving scalp, but I, it's really just the light, the way that light is hitting it. But yeah, I'm going to get back to y'all tomorrow or whenever I end up styling it. I wish I didn't dye pink right here, but I guess it's okay. Even this like little messy look is kind of cute. But yeah. Alright guys, so it's the next day. Um, I actually ended up styling it last night. I just didn't record. So this is actually how I just styled it. I did like a little swoopy side part. And I just straightened it. I could have did a better job at straightening it, but I didn't. Actually, it was nice last night, but... <laughs> Yeah, I might hit it again today before I go to work, but as of right now, I think it looks pretty cute. Um, I have a bobby pin holding it in on this side that I went and got from my grandma's house. Because I just like that look of it kind of tucked on one side. I just think that's cute. But yeah, I think it turned out real cute other than this little pink patch. I'm not a fan of the pink patch. But burgundy, I'm, I like the burgundy. It's real cute. Like, it's cute. It's simple. It's not too extra, you know. It's cute. I like it. But yeah, thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. The link for this wig will be in the description down below, as well as the link for this lace tint mousse. And I think the lace tint mousse, you did a real good job. So yeah, I'll put the links for everything that I used in this video down below. So thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications and my social media links will be in the description box down below. Mm -hmm.